Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to give you an overview of Intac's Accounts Payable module. I know that Accounts Payable may not be the most riveting of topics and the invoice to pay process is one of the more lackluster parts of finance, but it is a very important part of keeping a business running smoothly. Improper or weak approval workflows can result in overspend and fraud, and slow or onerous processing can upset vendors and threaten getting or keeping good payment terms. So, Although routine, accounts payable holds an important role in overall financial health. Let's jump into how Intac can help you have an easy and quick yet airtight payables process. As with the rest of Intact, the accounts payable module is easy to navigate and can be worked from both the menu view and the graphical view. A lot of people like the graphical view because it breaks the payables world of your, your business into three areas, data management, task works workflow, and reporting. I'm not going to cover today, but I do want to mention that Intact has a purchasing module as well that links with accounts payable and is included in the core subscription. Purchasing from a high level handles everything before the invoice is entered. Think purchase requisitions, approvals of those requisitions, conversion of the requisitions to orders, etc, etc. AP then picks up the process when the, in, when the vendor invoice is ready to be put in the system, which can be converted over from the purchasing module, so there's no rekeying of data. But for the moment, back to AP. On the data side, you can see on the vendor screen that the vendor list is easy to navigate. Like most of the rest of Intact, the view can be filtered and searched. Um, new views can also be created to fit your specific needs. Vendor records, as you see here, are very cleanly laid out and offer a number of fields to store data in, which isn't just limited to primary contact info. There's also additional information that can be stored, like vendor type, 1099 info, billing details, different contacts, if there's maybe the pay to contact is different than the primary contact, and payment information details. Now let's go over and look at bills. Again, this main view is fully searchable and filterable, as well as customizable, just like with vendors. Clicking into a bill, you have all the information that you need right at your fingertips. Obviously, the bill line items and header detail are there, but also links to approval history, payment information, vendor records, different contacts are all right there at a click of your mouse. These links save time so you can go right to the source data without having to navigate through other screens. On the note of approvals, I'm not going to go through the process today as it's fairly robust and a few minutes of it wouldn't do it justice, but it's fully tailorable by vendor amount, etc. There's lots of different settings that let you tweak the approvals to fit your exact needs. Moving on to paying bills, on the pay bills screen, you see that you can filter by due date and vendor quickly or just look at all bills that are open. Then you can select how you want to pay the bill, uh, if you have multi-currency, what currency you want to use, um, if there's the vendor has different payment methods, the bank you want to pay from, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Then towards the bottom, you can click what bills you want to pay, select the payment dates, if there's credits to apply, you can apply credits, if you're partially paying, you can update the amount to pay, and if you want to get even more granular, you can click on line item details. And on the line item details, you can actually select which line items you want the credits and amounts to be paid towards if you want to get that detailed. I'm not going to go through the whole payment process, but basically once you hit the pay now button, it takes you to a screen to confirm the payments. And once the payments are confirmed, it'll either post the payment to Intact. Um, like if you used a method like record transfer, like AKA it was paid outside of Intact, or it'll queue it for payment via a bank ACH file, credit card check. How the payment actually goes out varies a lot by the method you select and each company setup, so I'll leave that part for another time. To quickly touch on reporting here, Intact has a lot of standard reports that you're used to seeing like AP ledger, vendor aging, check registers, but also has some cool higher level reports that are included standard like bills analysis. Bills analysis I personally like because, again, like other intact reports, it's very filterable. But the cool thing is, is when you click into it, the analysis report, oh, sorry, I got to get a valid data set here, will show you all your bills broken out by what 
what GL account the bill was coded to. Again, everything's drillable so you can see the source transaction. Just another cool report that Intact has standard that a lot of other uh, accounting systems don't include. If you have an intact environment and haven't poked around in reporting before, I would, ex I would uh, highly suggest you go through and look through it as there's probably a lot of untapped potential and insights that would be beneficial. And if you don't have intact, these robust AP reports are just another reason to look into switching. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope I was able to provide a little bit of color to the often drab accounts payable process and show you how intact is the software you want to be using to manage your bill to pay process. Please follow us, Reinheimer Baker, on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter for more great videos and blogs on Sage Intact and other new exciting financial tools.